I always believe that a person who thinks he knows everything can never learn a new thing. Hello and welcome to Developer's Perspective. Nowadays, everyone speak about all the new trending technologies, the new framework, the fancy plugin which you can use to increase the productivity of your development. You would have come across all these different technologies, your peers, your team lead, your managers would bring up all these upcoming technologies to you and ask you to try to implement all those technologies. But for me, after working for more than seven years as a software developer, the most important aspect of programming is the way you write your code, the way you implement logics. All these different aspects are the most important things you need to work on to improve your development skill. So today we'll speak about the best things you can do to become a good programmer. So to start with, we'll speak about languages. Okay. If you are a programmer, you'd always have come across the term called as language. So in normal term, a language is something used to convey your message or a way to communicate. So in programming world, the language also means the same. So a programming language is something that is used as a tool to convey what you want as an output. So if you want to create a Sudoku game, then you need to know what are the different logic around it and then you need to convey that logic through a medium called as language. So a programming language is a basic tool through which you will be able to build a project or a product from your imagination. So programming language is a building block using which you can create your project. So the ultimate goal of a language is to convey a message. So that is the reason there is no good or bad language. The way the language performs is what makes a difference. Okay. Some languages are easy to learn. Some languages are harder to learn. Some language can be a faster way of conveying the message. Some languages would be a bit slower. But end of the line, a language is all about converting your thoughts into a product. So there is no good language or bad language. I can build a very good project using a legacy language like C and I can mess up a very tribal application using a very modern technologies like Python and Golang and many more. The second most important thing to learn is logic building. See, your application is nothing but a set of logics. Okay, your application will have if condition, your application will have a for condition and that's it. Most of your application will revolve around these basic fundamentals. So all this application development works around the logic building. So always plan to build your logic very precisely. So your logic is what makes your application a good application and the same thing can make your application a worse application to maintain. You would have heard that you need to learn all the new technologies. Whenever a new technology comes out, you are lured into learning that technology. The problem with the developers nowadays are that they want to learn everything but not completely. You will think that expertizing in a programming language is not a good thing to do as the technology keeps on changing and the programming language keeps on evolving. Okay, But that is not completely true. Expertizing into a specific technology or expertizing into a specific programming language helps you understand the basics of that programming language. And believe me or not, all the basics of all the different technologies and all the different languages are almost the same. The way we write the code and the implementation and the compilation is all that makes a difference. Other than that, the basic fundamentals of all these technologies are the same. So I'm not asking you to go and learn a very tribal programming language, but instead take up one programming language and learn it thoroughly. Okay. Learn every bit of that programming language. That way you will understand the basic of that programming language and most of this programming language share the basic fundamentals. So expertizing into one programming language can help you understand all the other technologies as well. So once you are done with learning a specific language very thoroughly and understanding the language to and fro, then learning a new technology would be easier. How can it be easier? When you learn a new technology, always plan to find links between the old technologies. If you have learned C and now you are going for C++, then find a linkage between both of these technologies. So now when you learn C++, you just need to understand all the new features added to the C++ 
and you can ignore all the other features which are common in C. You can reduce the amount of time you require to learn a new technologies by finding linkage between all the other technologies which you have already learned. So whenever you go for a new technologies, always plan to find linkage and I'm sure that you will find a lot of linkage almost around 75% of all the new programming language share of common basic linkage. You will find same features in C++ which you will find in C and you will find the same different features in Java which you can always uh, trace back to C. Till now you expertized into a specific technologies and you learn new technologies. Okay. Now let's come back to developing. So whenever you build a logic or whenever you program a logic, you make sure that you are developing for the future. So today if I am developing a feature, I'll make sure that I'll keep some place which I can use it tomorrow. If there is an if condition which you plan to implement now, always keep the else condition available. Okay. So that in future, if someone wants to add some condition or someone wants to work on that specific feature, he has the puzzles in place. Don't always plan to write only code for a specific task. When you focus on a specific task, you don't take everything into consideration. Okay. You can have some changes added in future in that existing task. So make sure you work for tomorrow. And once you are done with your task, don't just give up on your improvements. Okay, so you should always keep on improving that set of code. You may find a file line of code which you have written five years back and that can be very different than what you've been developing now. Okay, today the amount of code which you require to write that same specific feature will be very less than what you used to write five years back and that will only come when you keep on improving. And to adhere with this skill of improving, you need to always stop copy pasting. It is not always a good practice to keep copy pasting your code. If you plan to create that same set of feature, take a reference of that code and keep improving that code. Maybe there are few things which should not be there in, in your code. So always try to improve the same set of code which you have written. Then the most important aspect about your programming skill is to be proud of what you have developed. Okay. You can never be proud of something which you don't feel is good enough. So always make sure what you write is good for you, at least for you. Make sure that you are satisfied with what you have developed. Okay. Only then you can justify of what you have developed. You cannot always say that I am right and my code is always perfect. It is not an attitude which should be followed. And this attitude only will go away if you understand that nothing is perfect and everything has to be improved. But never be ashamed of what you have developed. Okay? You should always take pride on what you have developed. And the pride will only come when you keep on perfecting and improving your set of code. Okay. Never allow anyone to say that this is a piece of crap. Because it is your innovation, it is your ideation and it is your skills which you put in place and create your code. Okay, it is always your brainchild and never allow anyone to discourage you as a programmer. Everyone is unique and everyone is allowed to use their imagination to write code. So the next thing you need to do is you need to learn the basics of most of the applications. Okay, I don't want you to remember everything. But learn the basics of most of the application in the market. The reason being, if you know what are the different technologies, if you know what are the features of most of the technologies, then it will help you vastly to understand what best technology suits your requirement. Okay. So there can be some tasks which require a different set of expertise from a specific language. Always keep a repository of all the different technologies in the market that will vastly help you understand what best technology suits your requirement. Okay. So there can be a task which requires a different set of features which is available in a very different technology which you haven't learned. Okay. So the problem is now you miss out a very important aspect of development that is to get the best solution for the task which you do. Okay. So always keep a basic understanding of all the different technologies so that it will be easier for you to select what different technology suits your requirement. Okay. And I'm not asking you to remember everything. You need to just understand what is available and what is not available in a specific language. Okay. So always keep that repository in place. 
to become a very good developer that will drastically reduce the amount of time you require to develop the specific tool and it will improve the quality of the product as well so you need to always be a compiler yeah that is correct you need to be a compiler you cannot depend uh, on a compiler which is provided by a language okay because a language compiler only compiles the syntax it doesn't compile the logic and as i told you in the start that the application is nothing but the logics okay so your compilation will only help you understand what are the syntactical error if you depend more on the compilers then it will increase the amount of time you would require to code because just imagine that if you are writing 10 line of code and every time you write two line of code you need to again compile your application to check if it's working or not and then you keep on doing that for like five different times for that 10 line of code but if you are your own compiler then you will understand okay these are the 10 line of code which has to be perfected and you just write those code and compile it right away when you write the code and it will increase the efficiency of you writing the code and it will also reduce the amount of time and it will also reduce the amount of issues that can come uh, when you write the code so to be a good developer the probability is something like this so higher the number of compilation you do on the basis of your uh, uh, compiler the more inefficient developer you are okay so the number of compilation done by you compared to the number of compilation done by your compiler is the difference between a good developer and a bad developer the other important skill a developer should have is the ability to imagine so you should always imagine your code before you start coding so it it happens with me that every time i try to code or every time i write a code before that i make sure that i imagine the entire code what i plan to write so almost 75% of the entire code is already imagined before i write the code so that helps me understand the entire logic before i start coding okay and that reduce the amount of iteration or reduce the amount of compilation which i need to do at the time of programming just make an imaginary code find out what are the different type of for loops you would have what are the different switch cases you will have what are the different if and else condition which you may have okay and then what are the variables which you will be using so all this imagination will help you write the code faster okay so always have an imagination written before you start writing an actual code So now let's imagine there is a huge project which you are working on and there is an issue with the send email feature which is there in your application. So that send email feature is integrated with most of the features which is available with your application and every time you want to test that send feature you would have to go through all these different features for example if you create an invoice an email is sent if you create a user an email is sent so there is some issue through which a proper email is not getting sent okay so what you do is you plan to update that code you try to debug that code you keep on adding changes to your code and now you are wasting time in executing the entire code base just to see a feature which is a completely independent okay so that is when you can start creating mini projects of your own and segregate your issue with the application so you just need to focus on a small piece of code instead of running through the entire code so you can create a small function which will just send the email so this will help you understand where the exact issue is happening and that will not impact all the other features as well because now you are just working on a small set of feature okay so then you can once the issue has been fixed you can just go ahead and do the integration and test it out thoroughly so always create mini projects out of the issues never work on the issue keeping all the project intact okay that will waste your time and efforts in understanding the issue and in debugging and fixing the same and the best way to improve your programming skill and to be a good programmer is to experiment okay you always need to work on your experiment projects create small project create your own problem and find a solution for those a single pager java for application a single html web page it's more than enough to learn a new feature okay so always create a set of all small projects in your least time okay whenever you are free just go ahead and create a small project that will highly improve your ability to learn new things highly improve your ability to find issues with your application and it will improve uh, the way you look towards a problem and solve a problem also the best and the worst thing about programming is that it cannot be learned from a book and it cannot be taught by anyone 
ओके इट हैज टू बी डन एंड इट हैज टू बी ओनली डन बाय यू एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग ऑन योर स्किल्स ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स यू नीड टू डू इज ऑलवेज बी जेनरस ऑफ वॉट यू नो never be overwhelmed as being a developer because if there is a lot of things to be learned there are new technologies coming every now and then you cannot be up to date with all the different technologies and you cannot say that you have learned everything okay there is always some new things to be learned i always believe that a person who thinks he knows everything can never learn a new thing and lastly you should always ask for feedbacks and get your work review programming for other users are just like an art and you being a developer you are an artist and as an artist there are only two things you require to sustain one is appreciation for your work and the other is criticism to make your work perfect always take criticism as a target and goal to be achieved but to get your work reviewed and to get criticism you need to always showcase your work okay so always make sure that you show your work to your team lead or your manager or a social community where you can just showcase what you have done to get yourself a good feedback and that you can improve your work from there onward if you like this video then go and hit the like button and if you want to watch more content like this then please subscribe to my channel so thank you for watching and do comment if you feel to get in touch with me thank you